Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with another Xbox Game Pass monthly quest guide. So today we've got a very tricky one that's available for the game Near Automata. And this is going to be worth 75 Microsoft Rewards points. And this is good throughout the month of March all the way through April 5th, 2021. And it says complete one objective below. The two objectives that we have to choose from are complete 2% of the intel or subjugate two of the enemies. And actually, we're not going to get to choose. We're going to have to do all of that stuff. So that's the only way it's going to work. If anybody from Microsoft happens to be watching this video, I would definitely recommend, uh, you know, checking this out because it's not working as expected. Uh, yeah, you have to do both of those things currently. I like the idea, but... Uh, doesn't seem to be working as sort of an either or, it's both. So we're gonna start up a new game and we'll choose yes to save the data. I'm gonna fast forward through my name entry here. You can name it whatever you like. I should mention the technique that we're gonna use on the easy difficulty. We are going to unlock a bunch of achievements during this that uh, you would normally only get after you completed the game. So if you are looking to complete this game on your own and you want to unlock the achievements that way, you might want to uh, take a different route. You might want to skip this quest. But if you're still up for doing the quest and then grabbing all those achievements, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So there's a, a cutscene at the beginning that I kind of glossed over here, but basically after a minute or so you'll get control of your ship and you'll start out as the character 2B, who is flying in this ship. We're going to have a variety of flying methods here. There's going to be kind of overhead, there's going to be behind us, there's going to be beside us, all sorts of different uh, paths. But anyway, to start with, everything's right in front of you here, and you're just pressing the right bumper down to shoot. Right bumper is always shoot in this game, a little unusual with that, but hopefully you can get used to it. So just kind of move your ship around and avoid getting hit by the enemy projectiles and try to shoot down the enemy ships, and your friendlies will just get picked off one by one. And you can press Y to use the heavy attack, as it says on screen there. And we're just about to lose our last friendly. Multiple surrounding enemy air units confirmed. Requesting permission to assume mobile configuration. Permission All right, so this is our first transition. So you can use the left stick now to move your ship around and the right stick to control which direction you're shooting in. I got a little bit thrown off on this because I wasn't used to, or I guess I wasn't expecting the the view to change so much and the way that the the way that the ship was moving to change so much. But yeah, when it transitions into a a screen like this, it's left stick to move and right stick to control which direction you're shooting in. And again, you're just hitting the right bumper to actually do the shooting. And we're going to need that a little bit later on. That is what our hacking is going to be like. It's going to be that exact same style of shooting and moving. So remember that style. We've got a few more styles of movement coming up here first. Alright, so now we're shooting straight ahead. There aren't actually any enemies to shoot straight ahead though. This is more of like a dodging section. Kind of uh, like the Death Star run from Star Wars or something. You've got to dodge and not slam into the walls and everything. And if you do bump into a wall or two, you should be okay. You should have enough health since we picked easy difficulty. All right, so now we've gone into side-scrolling mode. So left stick to move around. You'll always be shooting to the right and hold down your right bumper to actually fire. Just try to avoid all the enemy projectiles and take out the enemy ships. They're pretty fragile, so if you get a, a bullet into them, they pretty much immediately blow up. For some reason, these enemy ships to me look like rubber ducks. It's very, <laughs> they have a very strange look to them. Or maybe like the, the thing on air hockey where you grab it and you try and hit the puck with that, whatever that piece of sports equipment is called, that thing. All 
All right, so now we've transitioned back to overhead. So again, moving with the left stick and the right stick controls where you're firing. And this is the toughest enemy you'll face in this section. Just avoid the spinning blades. Try to shoot the center section. It doesn't really matter that much if you shoot the outer section. The center section is kind of the control center of this, this enemy. So once you take out the center section, then you'll be into another dodging section where we move forward and you'll pretty much immediately crash into a wall and start a cutscene. You can hold B to skip this cutscene. Yes, I'm aware of that. So we've got some robots to defeat. You can just press X and Y to destroy them. You do also still have the ability to shoot that little hovering robot that's with you. He can shoot projectiles for you, so you can hit the right bumper to shoot if you want. Or you can just hack and slash with X and Y. However, however your style of play is, do what you do. And you can, of course, control the camera with your right stick. So if you need to move the camera around, you can do that. So we've got another larger robot that hops out and pretty much the same strategy. Just avoid hack and slash, shoot him with the right bumper if you want to. And I'm going to talk just a minute about part of our issue with the second section of this game. We have to do the subjugate of different enemies, and that is not something that is possible with the character that we're currently using. So we're going to we're going to figure out a, a solution for that in just a minute. So now we've got our one and only big boss battle in this section of the game. And I definitely recommend firing at it a lot with the right bumper. And when it gets kind of stuck in the wall like this, you can run up to it and hack and slash with X and Y, but when it withdraws, then you'll need to start shooting again. It was at this point I realized I had a terrible control scheme, so I paused for a second and fixed that, and then we were on target much better. So now I'm on target much better, taking good shots with the right bumper and hacking and slashing with X and Y when it gets stuck in the wall. And this enemy shoots projectiles at you as well, so watch out for those. Try to dodge those. You should survive. Just stay on the move. Keep holding down that right bumper to take some shots at it and whittle down its health. So after a moment or two, the big machine will be destroyed. Then we'll hold down the B button and get introduced to the other main character of this game, 9S. So 2B is the girl, 9S is the boy, and we need to actually play as both of them. But let's pause, hop over to the Game Pass app, and check your percentage on that intel. If you're set up like I am, you probably have the 2% already completed after that battle. So you can see I have got the 2%, but the quest is not unlocked yet. It shows two out of four. So the only other solution is to subjugate two enemies. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this is a very weird process. This is where we're gonna receive all of those achievements that I was talking about. And we're gonna do it by putting in a cheat code that was recently found for this game. So was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came? No. Oh, I've got a fl- so what you want to do is go over between these barrels. This is the specific spot where you're going to input this cheat code. And we're going to do it by pressing the select button to kind of lock down the controls a little bit. So hit the select button so that you see this screen with pod A, change equipment, use items. And then we're going to input this code that you're seeing on screen now. So while you're holding down the right trigger, you're going to press on the D-pad up, down, up, right, left, and then X, B, Y, A. 
and then the screen will fade to black and you'll see this message from pod 153. Then you can press down and choose nope, nothing at all, and press A. And it tells us that chapter select can now be accessed, as well as the debug menu and a couple of other things. So just keep pressing A to move through these dialogues. And then choose yes to save. And overwrite whichever save you were using. I had actually made a second save at this point but you can just overwrite your first save. That should work fine. And then basically the game is going to restart itself at this point. You'll just have a black screen for a minute or two, and the game is making some changes and recording the fact that chapter select and debug and all those things are available to you. So when it starts back up, that is when the 16 achievements will start popping. I'm not going to show them all appear on screen here, but basically just press A to get started back up. And then we are going to load up our save slot that we were using just then. So click continue. And you can load up whatever your save is. Mine was called attempt to, but anyway. So choose yes, and then instead of choosing start game, we're gonna go to chapter select, and we're gonna go to chapter two, landing at the city ruins, and then choose 9S, who is the male character, and then choose yes. So we're going to play as this other character, and he's the only one that has the ability to do the subjugate action. The subjugate action is something that can be done to different robots, and basically you will be able to control them in a certain scenario. So when this chapter of the game loads up, you should be playing as 9S, and we'll just jump up on top of this building, and there is a safe way to get down to the ground level, but it's a lot slower, so I recommend just jumping off the edge of this bridge here and falling down to the grassy area below. And if you're facing in this direction, you basically want to head up this grassy hill to the left. And there are some animals down here, so you might possibly get attacked by the oversized animals that are in this area. Just try to kind of keep your distance from them a little bit because we can't subjugate them. They're not robots that we can hack into and take control over. None of the machines in this area are hostile. We've been seeing more and more enemies like this lately. They just stand there. So 9S says that the robots in this area are not hostile. You can see some robots up on this broken bridge that are up to the left. And I tried to I tried to hack into these robots a few times. It's very difficult because there are so many of them. Now you have to hack the robots while they're unaware of your presence, basically. If they see you and start running at you, then you're going to have to fight them or run away from them. You're not going to be able to do the hacking and then subsequently the subjugation action that we have to do. So try, if you can, try to get one that's far away and hold down the Y button. Then you'll go into this hacking mode that I said is going to be like the flying from earlier and you're trying to destroy the small items and then the bigger shielded item in the middle. If you do that successfully, you'll have the option to subjugate. So you can see we got our first of two just there, and that robot is now on our side, basically. He's fighting for us against the other enemy robots. And if you go up to him, you'll see that he has a blue health meter instead of a gray health meter. But uh, these, these robots are a lot higher level than we're at. They're like level 30, 31 robots. So we actually have a really hard time defeating them at this point. And actually to just show some of my failures here and that this is not easy to do necessarily all the time. It's not something you may be able to do on your first try. You can see that I'm trying to grab a second one from this group and one of them spotted me and he's after me. So that means they're all after me and I can't, I can't do the hacking on any of them. So at this point, uh, 2B and I decided to run and the robots came after us, but I'm gonna show you that secondary area where you can find some, some small lower level robots that might be a little bit easier and might not be aware of your presence yet. So if you head back this way between the buildings, the larger robots from the bridge will not be able to follow you. I think they're sort of locked into that area. 
So let's move on to this second area that has a little lake in it. So here's another group of robots that you might be able to get your second subjugation on. And these are not yet aware of our presence. So what you want to do is, again, try to move up close to one. If you can find one that's sort of off by himself, that would be ideal. And you can do the hacking from a distance. Again, you just hack with the Y button and they have to not be aware of your presence for it to actually work fully. If you do try and hack them and they're aware of your presence, you'll still be able to do it, but it won't give you the subjugation option. So you can see one of them spotted me and I tried to hack this one. So here I'm, I'm doing the hacking, but it's not actually going to work because the one that I'm hacking is aware of my presence. So I'll show you what happens with that. So it says hacking complete, but then there's no option. There's no choice after you finish the hacking. So you've got to be sure when you do it that they're entirely unaware of your presence. So we left for a minute and went and hid back in this area. And even if you try it on one that has his back turned, there's still some level of awareness there. They're really quick to turn around once they've initially spotted you. And even if he has his back turned, you may try the hacking and it may still not succeed because he saw you earlier. So it's very, it's very touchy as to whether or not it actually gives you the option to subjugate. So it does seem that just this one robot is really aware of us at this point. So I started trying to look for one of the other robots down in the center that had not possibly seen me yet. So I moved around the outside and tried to pick off this one that was, if you kind of think of it like, uh, like, you know, wildcats, like a, like a lion hunting, you know, if you can find one that's off by itself, that's not surrounded by the others, then you may be able to surprise it. So here's another hack, and I do believe this one is successful. So there we go, we've got the option to subjugate, so let's choose that and confirm. And that is number two. And I think I tried one more hack here on this one. But again, that one was not successful, so we didn't get the option there. But nevertheless, we did get our two, so we can go ahead and turn in this monthly quest and grab the 75 rewards points. So that's going to do it for Nier Automata. I hope that works out well for everybody and you're able to grab those two robots and hack into them successfully and get your 2% completion. Um, yeah, again, this one's a little weird. They said complete one objective, but we got to do both objectives. So hopefully the next time this rolls around, it'll work out a little bit better. Like I said, I like the idea of being able to choose between a couple of different options of how you want to complete the objective but uh, just didn't work out perfectly in the execution this time. Hopefully it will next time. And thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.